Thank you, our most honored guests, for being here this afternoon. It is good to see each and every one of you. My Tlingit name is Dana Khishtseq. I am the child of Ahida and the grandchild of the Kaguantan. And I acknowledged all of my in-laws, my grandparents, my grandfather's people, and all of my in-laws as Kaguantan and my mother's grandfather's people, the Chukunedi and the Chukunedi ladies. Gunachish, thank you for being here. Uh, we are the box house dancers, Kukit. Majority of the dancers come from the box house. And I myself, along with a few others, are their in-laws. And so we are helping them this evening. Uh, we'd like to thank the uh, people of Ak Kwan, all the Ak Kwan Gunachish, for allowing us to dance on your land. I'd also like to take the time to just acknowledge uh, all of the friends of Bill W. out there, and those of you that are on the Red Wool to Wellbriety, those of you that are sober and are trying to live a clean and sober lifestyle, I applaud you also. I want to recognize all of you. I also would like to acknowledge our clan mother of the Kaguantan of Sitka, and that is my wife's grandmother, Koteen. Uh, Agnes Johnson, I do believe she's seated in the audience. She's over there. A lot of these performances that we are doing, these, these songs, come from the teachings of Charlie Joseph Sr. and his wife Annie Joseph, and we want to recognize them also. This next song that we are going to sing for you, oh, I do apologize, the song we entered in on comes from the Deshitan clan, the late Mr. Matthew Fred senior gave us permission to do this song because the majority of the dancers here are the grandchildren and great-grandchildren of the Deshitan clan. The next song we are going to be doing is the song I composed for my grandmother, Sarah James, and it's a happy song, so I hope you enjoy it. Mother, I want to introduce these two fine folks here to my right. Are our elders, my my mother, Shahad Ki, Mary Miller, if she could stand. She is wearing the robe that belonged to my grandmother, Sarah James, and so it's appropriate that we sing this song today. <laughs> and we also have Kashdel Tuish, Johnny Duncan is our other elder and our uncle here. Gunchish. Or, sh or should I say Elvis is in the house?
Uh, the next song that we're going to sing uh, comes from uh, the Qanakh Tedi clan. It was composed by uh, Sakuye, and uh, Sakuye was my Aunt Betty Garrity's uncle, and she always appreciated when Sitka would sing this song. Um, and so this song, uh, along with these other songs, we're dedicating these performances to the late Joe Johnson Sr., his mother, Ann Keener, Georgie Cherkasen, Cindy Johnson, Gina Johnson, Naomi Kanash, Ed and Sarah James, Clifton Melzo, Herman and Kathy Mayberry, Henry and Alice Sam, Pete and Dixie Johnson, Betty Garrity, Matthew and Bessie Fred, my brother Eli Biggs, Blake Rickerport, my good friend Chris Makua, my good friend Paul Jackson Sr., Elizabeth Basco, my grandmother, Annie Dick, Annie Joseph, and the late Charlie Joseph Sr. This is Sakuye. Chish, is that all right? He wants a good picture, he says. All right. This next song we're going to do comes from our serious side of our culture. We're having the ladies, they're going to step out front and they're going to do uh, what they refer to as the sway song. 
This is a real old style of, of uh, dancing that comes from way back. And uh, the song they're going to sing comes from their, their, their clan. It was composed by uh, Tayis. It is also referred to as Kuch Gaz. And they will not finish it out of respect for those that have passed away in their family.
Sheesh. Thank you for allowing us to do that. Now we'll have our young men come back up front. And before, and to give them a little bit of a breather, I want to thank Sea Alaska Heritage Institute on behalf of our group for uh, bringing us here this year. We really appreciate it. Goodness cheesh, goodness cheesh. And uh, this next song that we are going to be doing was composed by their uncle, Katan. Katan, We appreciate those that stood up and danced for their father's people. We are going to be exiting out now, but before we do that, I'd like to call our uncle up here, Kastel Tuish. He has a little presentation he would like to do. Kastel Tuish. Yeah, we're going to, um, can I ask for uh, Don Martin and uh, Doug Shelton? John Martin, Doug Shelton, please come on up here. Is George Ramos in the building? He could come up too, please. We're going to do a presentation to uh, see Alaska. Al Kukash in the building. If he's not, I'd like his daughter to come up here too, please. And uh, Clarence Jackson, could you come on up here, please? Fish and Game gave us on a subsistence three minutes, but they gave me only one and a half, so we'll try to get this over as soon as we can. Thank you. Yaktachan Katakawa Ka, to Jis Yuka Katant, Hateka Yakesk, Doug Chilton, Wushkinayat to the Nakesna. My grandson, actually, and my nephew, Doug Chilton, 
wanted to make this announcement. It's, it's actually respect and happiness that Johnny Duncan wanted to make a presentation. He wanted me to say a few words about the Sheetka Dancer and the Canoe Project. The Canoe Project was designed to bring our Tingat and Haida people together as, as one people, one nation. And uh, the presentation actually reflects on a white ego. But before we make the presentation, we'd like to give acknowledgement to Johnny Duncan's father and the girls that are in with, uh, that are here holding the picture. Johnny Duncan's father's name was Pete Duncan, and his singer's name was Hargur. And in honor of his family, Duck Chilton, uh, the first White Eagle was actually sighted in Excursion Inlet, I mean, not Excursion Inlet, Pointed Dolphins many years ago. The White Eagle doesn't make an appearance very often. Well, a few years ago, Johnny Duncan sighted the White Eagle near, near Hayward Strait in Sitka. And he actually captured the uh, White Eagle with his camera. And so out of respect and gratitude on the Sitka Dancer and the Canoe Project, we'd like to have Johnny Duncan and the girls and Doug Shelton present the picture of the White Eagle to the Sea Alaska Heritage Institute. Gonna teach. Everybody wants to, um, a lot of questions came up about the, about the White Eagle and why it even came to me. But we don't really have a whole lot of time on the stage to talk, to talk about it. It was something very special and uh, I think that Sea Alaska has done so much for our people and hopefully that the, the white eagle that you see here um, will be uh, a, a good guidance for our uh, Sea Alaska people that are work for us. Uh, Clarence Jackson, if you say something. Before Clarence says anything while he's shaking hands back there, I wanted to tell you a little story about Clarence. One day I was in Sitka, <laughs> and he was in cake. I, I, I asked one of his relatives for his phone number, and they gave it to me. And I knew it snowed in cake that day on Clarence's house. Nobody else's. Just on Clarence's house, it snowed. So I called up Clarence, and I said, Clarence, last night I did that. Snow dance. <laughs> okay, I have to keep quiet now. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the rest later. I found out money talks. Gonna <laughs> see. <laughs> I wonder if you could focus on the picture and enlarge it, whoever is handling the camera and take me out of the picture. Uh, I hope that we can enlarge this picture because it's, 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 uh, it's kind of like a miracle, this picture. A white eagle showed up and only Johnny captured it on a camera. We appreciate the gift at Sea Alaska. What we are doing is not for Sea Alaska or the heritage. What we're doing is to try to make sure our culture stays 
and our culture grows. And I have no doubt when I watch the young people dance up here that it will continue to be alive. Uh, some of us have a lot of metal joints and we can't dance like some of these people. <laughs> and so we're full of jealousy. I can't point you out. I know there's a lot of metal sitting here too. We thank you very much for this gift and maybe when the day comes at the next celebration I got two tickets in our parking lot. <laughs> I think I'm the only one. <laughs> I haven't been very happy with the city of Juneau. Where's that mayor? <laughs> I, I, I had to get the money back. I had to get the money back so I can finish the story. When, when, when I, I told him, Clarence, I said, I did, I did a snow dance in, in Sitka so that it will snow on all the bad people. <laughs> and it only snowed on his house and cake. <laughs> <laughs> There's more stories, so. <laughs> I bought him off again. This picture, I hope we can get some people together, Mr. Miller with you and we can get a song composed about this eagle by the next celebration I'm always impressed with people and my great-grandfather composed songs I used to hear him while I was working on his home down below I'd hear him pounding on the floor singing and I never did make out the songs, but I was too busy to listen. <laughs> this picture may, the, may be the basis of the next new song at Celebration 2012. We thank you for this gift, all of you. All of you, we thank you. And we'll take it and hang it, and maybe we're going to do some magic on it and make it a great big picture. It's hard to do that, but we will figure out how to do that.
That's the part of celebration that I miss the most is the oratory and how the protocols are supposed to be followed and we're losing that and it's a shame and that's all I'm gonna say on that matter. We are gonna exit out as we are dancing out. Please feel free to clap your hands or stomp your feet with the beat of the drum or stand up and holler for our dancers. They love it. Ho, 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 ho.